Today we're going to be going over our strict overhead press or our standing barbell overhead press. Now this movement, it's going to be challenging for a lot of us because a lot of us may not be able to press the barbell overhead just yet. So we'll talk about different options that you have. Um, no matter whether you're using dumbbells, an easy bar, so those pre-weighted bars at the gym, or your barbell, Certain, certain alignment cues are still going to apply and the basic fundamentals of the pose, of well, not the pose, but of the movement still apply. So yes, we're going to pu be pushing the weight over our head, but while we're doing that, it's gonna be very important that our lower body is active and that our core is braced. Because a lot of times what happens is when we put our arms overhead, our butt goes back and our ribs go forward and we don't wanna do that. We want to be in this nice, strong, long line as we push the weight overhead. So I'll show you from the side to begin, and then I'll turn around and I'll show you from the front. Because what you want is when you approach the bar, when you're holding the bar, you want your wrists to be over your elbows. So if your hands are too in close, that's not right. If your hands are too far wide, that's not right. You want your forearms to be perpendicular to the ground, so straight up and down. So I've got my hands. I'm now gonna go grab on to my bar. Now, once I've got the bar in place, I'm going to unrack it. Those are a little bit higher than I would suggest them for you. Notice what my tailbone is doing. My tailbone right now is pointing straight down. It's not pointing back. My tailbone is down and my ribs are in. So I'm braced through my core. Now I'm gonna drive my feet into the ground, keep my glutes strong as I push this weight overhead and my head pokes out at the top. So my ears are in line with my shoulders, my elbows are locked out at the top of the movement. And then as I bring my arms down, I'm gonna pull my head just back a little bit. So ears in line with shoulders so I don't bonk my nose. So push, lower, push, and lower. My glutes are strong, I'm squeezing my butt, and my abs are on. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale up. So what's different about this strict press and a push press is I am not using any momentum to get this weight overhead. That's one of those things that makes this movement so challenging. So a push press is where we would have like that dip and drive, where you get a little bit, bit of help from your lower half. This is a strict press, so you are strictly pressing overhead. Now I'm going to turn around so I can show you from the front so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so not ideal barbell situation here. Here we go. Okay, so you can see right now, my elbows are in line with my wrist. Tailbone down, ribs in, core strong. I'm gonna push this weight overhead. I push my head forward and I lower back down. Push and lower back down. Push and lower back down. So that is, excuse me, your standing overhead press. This can also be done, as I mentioned, with dumbbells. Same alignment applies. It can also be done with the pre-weighted bars at the gyms. You know, you guys know the bars that have like 30 or 40 pounds because a barbell is pretty heavy, especially as you are pushing it overhead. So let us see what you got. Let us know if you have any other questions and enjoy your overhead presses.